Well, good morning. This morning, our scriptures found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 through 3, and it goes like this. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherein ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Suppose that someone comes up and knocks on your door and says, boy, oh, I'm hungry. And you say, come on in. And uh, you sit him down in a comfortable chair and uh, you go prepare a big juicy steak in a baked potato. And uh, you come back and you set it in front of him and he looks at it. He said, no, nah, I can't eat that. <laughs> and you say, well, why? What's wrong with it? Well, there's a chip missing in my plate. I think you'd ask him to get up and leave, wouldn't you? I know I would. Well, you see, many folks do the church the same way. They'll go and they're looking for the perfect church. Oh, it's got to be perfect. But you know what? As long as you're there, it's not going to be perfect. No, because we're all imperfect. Imperfect people. We, that's what we are. We are born into sin. So we're imperfect. The only perfection we have is if we're a child of God, we have Jesus in it. That's the only perfection that, that I'll ever have. You know, there there's so many people out there and they'll walk into a church and uh, first off, they want to look at the sanctuary. Oh, and then they start seeing flaws in people, in, in the church itself, the, the painting. It needs to be repainted. There's chips on the wall. What, what's wrong with you people? You see, we're all imperfect. Serving a perfect God. In fact, our, our middle son, Sheldon, his church out in Midland, Texas, is called Elevate. And their slogan is, this is the perfect church for imperfect people. Yes, we're all imperfect. But we serve a perfect God. We serve a perfect God. Oh, uh, Charles Spurgeon, he once said, The day we find a perfect church... It becomes imperfect the moment we become a member. That's right. If you don't like imperfection, don't look in the mirror. And I'm talking to you. We serve a perfect God with a perfect love. And we need to treat others the way that we would want to be treated. Don't you think? Absolutely. Well, I hope you got something out of this because we, we live in an imperfect world and I'm an imperfect, so I fit right in. I love you. Better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.